What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and sitting across from me is first place Speedroid Aaron. Guys, we literally just finished our final round yeah. and uh, he was playing Speedroid and bro, honestly the deck is crazy, like low key. So I'm gonna let you get into it because I have no idea what Speedroid actually does, but they make some crazy boards. So let's get right into it. Okay, uh, so right off the bat, uh, one Terratop obviously. Um, you wouldn't play the deck without it. I don't think this card's ever gonna come back to three. It is what it is. Be too good if it did? Yeah, oh yeah. That's fair. Uh, play five for normal summons. So we play uh, three marble, uh, just normal summon search. That's pretty much it. You don't use the Pendulum effect ever. Okay. And then we're playing uh, two Ultra Hound. This card's really nice. Uh, normal summon, dump every, like, dump any speedrun monster or card, sorry. Uh, so usually, if you have nothing, you jump the trap, because the trap then summons itself back uh, by decreasing this. Okay. It's like a trap monster. But the really nice thing about it is, on the following turn, uh, you can banish it to and shuffle a uh, monster back, summon a monster from extra deck. So, oh. really good recursion. You can literally shuffle back one of your threes that you use in the combo, summon like the three tuner, and just like keep going. Okay. Yeah. For extenders, we're playing three card turbo, three tack uh, Both of them. Uh, level 3 that pretty much says if you have any other monster, summon itself. Tekkenom's really nice, you can take out into any tuner in the deck. 9 times out of 10 it's going to be red at dice, but sometimes you go for um, uh, Daiko instead. Okay. But yeah, it's kind of nice when you do the... for like your random pick. Um, if you already have the double yo you can just pick both of them and it doesn't matter what goes to hand and what goes to grave. Oh, okay. nice. um, for combo pieces, uh, playing double yo it's technically not a normal summon because you always search it and then summon it off the additional normal. Um, it's nice to play too because it's not like if you open it, it's good because then you don't have to wave a random chance. Um, it's also good recursion because again, you can summon, summon back something and just do your entire combo again. For Turner Bricks, playing one Daiko, two dice. Um, a lot of people play two and one. Um, I like one and two because I. I almost never like use the second copy of this, whereas with dice, um, if one of them disappears past turn one, you're gonna have a hard time. Okay. Um, plus, if you roll a two off the uh, wheel, which you get into later, you need two targets to summon yeah. that are one. Um, we're also playing three win. This can be pretty much any searcher you want. It can be small worlds if you want. Uh, it can be scratch. I prefer win though the most, just because I think it's. It puts stuff in grave, and on top of that, it's sort of one of the least restrictive. Um, like search cards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It literally searches any win monster. Like I can search draw with this card if I want. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing. If I know I'm going up against a deck that's weak to it, you go to most of the time. Yeah. Rather than just get an extra negate, search the draw. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Um, we're also playing small cash engine. Uh, two unicorn, one birth. This is nuts. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's literally two free, like two free summons. Um, the birth is kind of nutty if you end on this and search of matchups. Plus the seven, so like this plus any of your three, like level three extenders. Even normally in the Daiko with this is like really crazy. Makes um, a free Baron. Yeah, free Baron, and then you go bring this back, go combo. Yep. Um, for spells and traps, we're playing three speed recovery. Uh, Monster Reborn of the deck, it's really good. Um, on the following turn, banish it, add them back. Okay. Um, so it's some guaranteed follow up for the next turn. And then three wheel. This uh, card's spicy. Yeah, it's it's both, it's it's a good bad card. I guess yeah. the best way to put it. Um, yeah, you discard a card, um, which, I mean, there's tons of cards in this deck you don't mind discarding. Um, roll a six that I die, special summon one to two monsters, usually gonna be two. Um, whose total level equals the amount rolled. Um, so if you roll a five, for example, you can summon a three and a two. Yeah, or a one and a five, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, six is really crazy with this. Um, just because you can get access to your chat up and your Daiko, which okay. is like really good. Or like Daiko and Dog for a ton of follow up. Uh, and does the lines ever change depending on what you hit off of this? No, because ninety nine percent of the time you're just gonna link it into the link two. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's gonna get you uh, where you want to be. Yeah. Uh, in terms of non engine, three ash, three Joel, Again, searchable. It's so good in this yeah. deck. Uh, Format tax. Yeah. Uh, three imperm, uh, three droplet. Just because there's a lot of like turn skip stuff running around right now. Yep. And then. We're going to have a meaning to anti spell just because this deck is a little bit weak to spell and trap negates. Um, most of the time, your only spell and trap negate is going to be Barone. So, 
a lot of your like breaker spells are really tough uh, to run into. So like Dark Ruler no more and stuff, you just don't want to yeah. see it? Um, yeah, even stuff like, yeah, like I don't want to see tactics, I don't want to see... Uh, Thrust yeah. or any of that? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, so that's if I made like 40 cards? Uh, 44 actually. 44, okay. Yeah, uh, I was trying 43 and 43 was really good and I thought, can I bump it up? I did, and so far it's been okay. Okay, so um, yeah, you want to get into uh, extra deck? Sure. I'm assuming this is going to be a lot of Synchro Monsters. Yeah. Um, so right off the bat, playing two rubber band shooter. Uh, Skirt's like, it's really, really good. It made it took the deck from completely unplayable to like somewhat playable. Yeah. Um, yeah, so first effect is just an additional normal. Like that's just right off the bat really good. But the second effect is what's really good. Yeah. Uh, you banish the Synchro from cost. Pick two from your main deck. Your opponent adds one to your hand. The other goes to uh, grave. Yeah. So you can set up your grave, add one to hand. Like it's a search, a dump, and additional normal on one. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's super good. And okay. Yeah. I mean, it's randomly your opponent randomly picks, but a lot of the time you're picking two monsters where it's the same. Outcome. Regardless. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's very rare. You have to like. Swing for the fences and like just hope you get what you need. Okay. Um, so we're gonna synchros two cork shooter. I think this is probably the best card to come out of last wave of support. Yeah. On summon, literally just soul charge all the materials. Like, kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's just nuts. Um, doesn't even negate the effects. It's also two. Yeah. Yeah. It turns out like a one single combo into a two, two, a two single combo. Nice. Right off the bat. For the other single tuner, I'm playing Marcher. There's some combos, especially like if you're just like bare bones, all you have is a link two. To get your second synchro, you have to play him. Um, just to extend a bit, or just to, like turn a non-tuner into a tu or into a tuner. Yep. Playing Hagoita, really good combo piece. Um, every turn, if you have a tuner, you can bring it back. Um, so it's just free recursion. Yep. Um, Chambara, this is the OTK machine. Like attacks twice, gains 200 attack. Like literally, if you open this and any combo, you make this. And if you're able to banish the card turbo, that's game. Like yeah. that's exactly a ticket. Yeah. So, yeah, um, it enables like a one card ticket. Nice. Uh, playing Kintama, um, it's partially a time card, but you also just need a six target to banish. Yeah. Most of the time, it just gets banished for water. Playing one clip with Sickle Dragon. The OG clearly. Yeah. Um, I was on Fast Dragon for a bit um, because it's a bit more. Uh, generic, but the reason why I'm playing this right now is cash is in the format, and this card is really good into cash. Yeah. Um, whereas most decks, it's kind of ineffective into cash. It's two negates. You can okay. negate Fenrir. You can negate the unicorn on the top of it. It's really good. Okay. We're playing one Kite Drake. Uh, this card's really nice. It's sort of your your board breaker card. Um, either negate everything or everything your opponent controls or destroy everything else. Yep. Um, so when, depending on the situation, it could be a non-target negate or it can be just bomb the board. Um, yeah. yeah, and if your opponent kills it, um, I've had a lot of people not read this card, revenge kill it, and then um, when it gets sent to grave, it gives you a search. So I've literally just gone, okay, search their top for next turn. Yeah, or so like follow up. Yeah, or even just in the same turn, like search, turns off and keep going. Yeah. For boss monsters, two crystal wing, three is excessive. You don't need it. Yep. Um, one Baron. Uh, we're also playing one Appaloosa and one Totem Bird. These are mostly just for um, Appaloosa because there's a lot of hands where you can extend into it. But the biggest reason is if you get hit by D Barrier, you like this is a format you can't afford to just pass on yeah. like if you get hit. So you can make like three man apple with totem bird and at least you've got four negates then. Yeah. yeah like it's not the greatest, but it's something. Yeah, at least it's something. Um the only thought I had was though I might cut the totem bird just for a second um seven target because I find clearing alone. Like it's only good in the catch, like you're saying. Yeah, and I find a lot of time you'll banish it. Um, and then you'll need another level 7 to like go into Brawl on certain weird hands. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Um, for now though, I think it's Totem Bird is correct. Okay. Yeah. What'd you play on your side? Oh, I know one card you played on the side, um, and I was yeah. not a big fan of that. Uh, my side's a little bit unusual in some ways, otherwise not really. Okay. Um, to Kaiju, reason I'm playing Gadarla, you can pitch it off Wind to Surge. Yep. Um, that's pretty much it. Two Tactics. Two is okay, I'm thinking about three, I'm not sure. Uh, two Dark Ruler. This card's a little awkward this format, but sometimes you just need that card. Yeah, you just need uh, a more breaker. Yeah. Uh, two Lightning Storm. Uh, again, hit the back row. Yep. Uh, three evenly. Again, four breaking. And then if we're going first, 
uh, third Angie spell, but also three goes in. Ew! You play no non-wind engine cards at all. Like you'll never summon a non-wind monster. Yeah. So like this card has no effect on you, whereas it hits Cash. It's early. It's so many like good decks. It also hits right? Dino. Yeah. Yeah, it Which does. I, I li literally folded to the goes in. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's such a good card. Um, like honestly, it's the only reason like Marinsus is on the map, and I figured, hey, I can do it too. Why not? Yeah, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah, thank you for the deck profile, Speedroid, yeah, no putting it back on the map. Yeah, uh, the deck's fun. The deck's good. Um, congratulations again. If you have any shout, do you have any shoutouts before uh, we head out? Uh, yeah. Uh, shout out to Kent. I know where he is. Uh, and he also, yeah, helps the test. He's pretty good at the deck too. Helps me come up with some stuff. Uh, he's good to bounce ideas off. Yep. And just so thanks to all my friends. You know, I got a good testing group. All of them are pretty good. And it helps to sort of, you know, I can actually build the deck and test it against what I think I'm going to go up against. And, and be competitive with it, right? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you guys all Thank for watching. Much. Of course, of course. Yep. Thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, Spanko and Eric signing out. Thanks. Peace.